Welcome to the Political Buzz Show. My name is Rene Hinojosa. I'm your host. Today's topic is going to be about Senator Wendy Rogers, who is a senator from Arizona. Recently, she uh, uh, went on social media, and uh, she also was one of the guest speakers uh, at the America First Political Action uh, conference, and she spoke about destroying Republicans. Let's go ahead and get into that. We're going to dive into that. Well, over the weekend, notable Republican legislatures uh, attended a white nationalist uh, annual gathering uh, that is called, like I mentioned, America First Political Action Conference. And uh, some of the speakers that were there were, to no one's surprise, was Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paul Gosar, and then, of course, uh, Senator Wendy Williams. And there might have been others, but I don't really think they were Republican legislatures. They were mo mostly figures from the right. And... Um, so, like I said, among among the crazies that who spoke there was Wendy Rogers, and she appeared to be one of the most uh, unhinged uh, speakers. As the Arizona Mirror reported on some of the comments that Rogers had made, and she had made this uh, remotely. Uh, over the crowd that was there. So then let's look at the first image here. And um, and this is an image from the Arizona Mirror. It's a newspaper from the state of Arizona. And the uh, as you can see, the, uh, the title uh, of the article is Wendy Rogers said, white nationalists are patriots and call for hanging political enemies. So if you are one of those unfortunate individuals on the left or maybe an also on the right who um, don't agree with her politics, then you may end up uh, being on the wrong side of her, um, of her agenda and you may end up even being quote-unquote hanged. Um, and yes, so... Uh, apparently she was quoted by the Arizona Mirror, and she was quoted as saying uh, this particular statement. So yes, so she was quoted as saying, I've said we need to build more gallows if we try some of these high-level criminals, convict them, and use a newly built set of gallows. It'll make an example of these traitors who have betrayed our country. And so I'm wondering who these traitors uh, that, Reg uh, that Rogers uh, is speaking of. And no doubt it's probably going to be uh, people from the Democratic side of, of the political spectrum. And uh, it just goes to show you that uh, these Republicans who, who found themselves on the lose, losing side in the presidential elections that resulted in President Biden being elected the president, uh, <clears throat> they haven't taken losing very kindly. And, and, uh, and so now, you know, they invented all of these uh, conspiracy theories, and Wendy Rogers is a big fan and a purveyor uh, of conspiracy theories, and so in it's no surprise that in her uh, that in her speech at the uh, at the White Nationalist Conference, she spoke about Hillary Clinton, and she spoke about uh, George Soros, who is who is always uh, the straw man uh, that is being brought up. Uh, and, and, and their conversations or arguments. And so, yes, uh, we, uh, <clears throat> but then essentially 
once she uh, uh, spoke at the convention and went away, she resurfaced on Monday and she ended up uh, with some really interesting uh, comments. And so Wendy Rogers, uh, her anger spilled over to social media. And so she posted a series of inflammatory remarks on Twitter. And I'm going to, gonna, I'm going ahead to bring up the first one here, but uh, in that uh, one of her tweets was this, and I'll put it up on the screen. It says, I will not apologize for being white. Hit me all you want. And so I guess this is a reference about the so-called cancel culture uh, phrase that the Republican Party or some somebody who aligned on the right uh, popularized it. And now the Republican Party uh, has taken this to new heights. And so it's interesting, though, that uh, Democrats aren't really interested in this cancel culture. And I would say that Republicans have been more the proponents of cancel culture. And so really what it is here is that uh, Democrats, for sure people on the Democratic side of politics, are going to bring up, uh, they're going to have issues with statements like this. Uh, and anybody that is that ascribes to, uh, you know, ascribes to equality for all and, and freedom for all, should certainly have a problem with this statement. And uh, but then she was very still very busy on social media, and then she found time to post this other uh, tidbit, and on Twitter she she reaffirmed or reemphasized according to the tweet here she says i will personally destroy the career of any republican who partakes in the gaslighting of me simply because of the color of my skin or op opinion about a war i don't want to send our kids to die in. And so, uh, uh, you know, uh, a person of color should have reason enough to argue about uh, being gaslighted because of the color of their skin, more so than Wendy Rogers. But here again, she is... Uh, digging out these tropes of self-victimization. And of course, she is against the United States being involved in any war in the Ukraine, I suppose. And certainly, all of us are tired of the previous wars uh, of the Middle East, and we pulled away from Afghanistan and, um, and so forth. But uh, so far, we have not uh, made any kind of moves or uh, any kind of military uh, moves that point to the fact that we may be in, involve our, ourselves militarily in the Ukraine. So certainly, like other countries, we've sent uh, anti-tank missiles. We have sent surface-to-air missiles to deal with the... Uh, uh, the air power that uh, has been hoisted against uh, the Ukraine. And of course, all of these tanks that are uh, clogging up the streets, uh, the Ukrainians are certainly hitting those targets with uh, the Javelin missiles and the Enlaw missiles that the Brits have sent over there. But so far, we this hasn't escalated to the point where we have become involved. But certainly there are other European countries that have sent military aid, uh, but so far there's been volunteer, volunteers from various countries, including ours, who have offered their soldiering services to the population. And so a lot of videos have surfaced about 
uh, all of these civilians, uh, Ukrainian civilians, being taught um, the art of soldiering and warfare by a lot of volunteers from all these various countries. And so, but yes, um, I would have to say uh, that we have to talk about getting Wendy Rogers censored. And we are wondering whether this will happen. And so discussions are underway at the Arizona Senate uh, about possibly censoring Senator Wendy Rogers. And I'm not sure if, if that's going to happen. But this is, of course, over her recent inflammatory remarks uh, and her speech uh, also filled with all these diatribes um, at, the, uh, at the White Nationalist Conference. So this has been, according to the chamber's second-ranking Republican, and so there are right now thinking about it. But, however, if you're like me, I find it uh, difficult to believe that Rogers will be censored uh, because so many Republican legislatures have been guilty of speaking at, at events and posting so many absurd diatribes in social media and... Uh, and so, yes, so very few of them have been censored. And I think the one that comes to mind may be Marjorie Taylor Greene. I believe she may have been censored. Uh, but if I'm wrong, uh, you can post uh, your comments on 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 the uh, the video. But at this point, if the party did follow through and censor um, their members, half or more would have wound up on the list. And that would be probably a source of embarrassment. And that might provide ammo for Democrats come election time. And that's probably um, going to be some people's reasoning, and, and mine as well, as to why Republicans are are not very quick to censor their own members. And because, like I said, we they have so many members that have said so many things. And, and so that would have amounted to just a lot of these people being censored, and that would reflect negatively on Republicans as a whole. And so this could be, quote-unquote, a wind up being a political weapon uh, by Democrats, uh, when it when it matters the most, that would become election time. So, but thus far, this has not happened yet. But perhaps, uh, if they do decide, uh, they will probably move on that, assuming they find just cause. And I'm not really sure uh, if her actions will warrant. Uh, them to move on that. I don't know what what else it would take because it certainly takes quite a bit uh, when it comes to the Republican spectrum of politics. All right. Till next time, we will see you again. And like I said, if you have any comments uh, about um, the politics pertaining to Wendy Rogers or this video, feel feel free to post them. Until next time.